You see what I'm saying? Wow. So see, like I grew up under that uh touch not, taste not, uh you wrong this, do this, do this. A lot of rules. A lot of rules, a lot of telling me to do this and that. And I, I said, that's for old people. See, that made me think like, mm. this This gotta be for old people because I can't live like that. Mm. I'm gonna show you something. One day, <laughs> one day I was I, I was high, I was on drugs. I was high, high, weed, high as I don't know what. Out of my mind high. This was like, I wanna say like 99 or 2000, right before I had got up there for a second and uh, I was at my mother's house she was living in Frazier mm. and I had came in the house and I felt bad not bad like like condemn, condemnation type bad but bad like I'm not gonna go to heaven mm. like I said man I, and, I, and I, I sat down and I just prayed I said Lord this is exactly what I said I said Lord I love these women <laughs> I love to get high I said, man, Lord, just please don't let me go to hell. I said, please. I said, and I told him, I said, Lord, I really don't know. I can't live. I thought about the church life. You know, I called it that or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I said, I can't live that church life. I just, I can't do it. I told him the truth. Yes, sir. See, with God, you know, you got to be honest. Yes. Sir. I just told him the truth. And I'm telling you when I tell you this, this is the truth. Mm -hmm. When I tell you this, I, I'm not, I wouldn't, I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. I heard the Lord spoke to me, not with a, not in my ear, but he spoke to me. He said, don't you believe Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior? And I said, yeah, I do believe Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. And instantaneously, he said, well, you saved then. Wow. He said, what you, what, why, he, he, you like, why are you tripping? You saved. Mm. And it, when he said this, now I'm telling you, I'm high out of my mind. I was completely sober. I got completely sober. Wow. Instantaneously. Wow. And I, was, and I was happy. Mm. I was like, man, I'm saying, I'm saying. But see, it's like, like most people do, I, 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 I had that experience. But as I walk out the door, my mind not being renewed and nobody there to kind of guide me and show me nothing, I got right back in it. Man, I got right back in it. See, I always been in and out. And I see that now throughout my life, I got right back in it. I tell myself, man, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and I'll fall right back in it. But see, the thing is, it, it, it's, it's the understanding of the grace of God. Yeah. See, I was, I was, I was locked up in 2004 or five in uh, Greenville, Illinois, and I had met some of these good brothers. I was locked up. And this one guy, he was taught under Kenneth Hagen, but he had got out there on selling drugs and stuff. Good friend of mine now, good guy. And uh, he told me, he said, uh, I heard him say this one time. He said, he said, grace is God's strength that you don't deserve, that you that that it's going, it it, it's, it it helps you in your weak areas. Mm. So I told the Lord, and this is like we talking like maybe a, a year or so ago. I said, Lord, I need some grace. Wow. I need some grace. I need some grace, Lord. I need you to give me some grace so that I can run this race. I said, cause I mean, I mean, it's back and forth. I mean, I mean, I'm just being honest, man. I, I, money, no, I, that's no problem. I understand money. I get that. I, I get. I can. I can. Money is nothing. You work a job, you'll get a check. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you can get some money. It ain't about low. A lot of people they say, you know, I talk to guys and people now they. Well, Pat, man, well, what's what's what is it now? What's what, what you, you know? Cause I've been I be talking to him about the Lord. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. What you what you on? I'm like, man, I'm on some Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they they wonder. They ask me why this, why that. I'm like, man, listen, man. Because see, now the Lord has opened my understanding more. But see, the thing is, you got to draw. He said, draw near to me. I draw near to you. Yeah. See, cause he's a perfect gentleman. He's not gonna push you and make you do it. <sighs> I mean, he ain't gonna make me do it, cause I'm my own individual. I, it's it's to, to believe is a choice. Mm. If I tell you, if I say, I'm gonna give you a hundred thousand dollars tomorrow, you are gonna start getting excited if you believe me, mm. if you trust me. Mm. So I see, I never knew God. Mm. Like, see, I I knew of Him. Yeah. I believe that He saved and died on the cross. I believe that, but I only just knew of Him. See, a lot of people they'll be saved and they go going to heaven. You know, all they gotta do is keep. You no, know, they'll go to heaven. But I didn't know him. See, that was my whole thing. I've been saved. 
Mm. That's why I'm standing here. That's why I'm still breathing. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's because he's been carrying me all this time. 